All right, HD Zero FPV goggles. Let's open these babies up, check it out. It's looking all right, huh? Uh, mine don't appear to be as army green as some of the other beta testers that I've seen. Uh, maybe a little green tint, but actually I kind of like it. It looks looks pretty slick. Uh, all in all, they got a nice weight to them. Not so heavy, but they don't feel cheap or anything, which is cool. Dig into the box, see what other goodies we got. Pull the accessories out. Let's see, we got the strap. HD Zero represent. Nice, like that. Take a cleaning cloth, some stickers. XT60 cord for your battery with a barrel connector. And here we go, we got the face plate. And you can see actually, there's actually technically two face plates. Uh, we have this one here, which is narrower, and this one here, which is a little bit wider, which we will check out. I got a pretty narrow head, so I'll probably go with the narrow one. And let's check out the bag here. Yeah, that's pretty cool, pretty comfortable. Put your hands in there on a cold day, warm them up. So anyway, there's your quick unboxing. Okay, so I went ahead and put the foam on to the narrow face, and that's gonna be just about perfect for me. Let's go ahead and put them on and see how they fit. Right, so here they are. I'm just kinda hold them on my face. But actually, as I look around, I'm not seeing any light leaks, which is really impressive, actually because I don't think I've ever had a pair of goggles that didn't have light leaks. That's pretty awesome. Uh, and they fit, they feel pretty comfortable. Uh, we won't know until we really are wearing them, but they feel pretty good. How do they look on my face? Uh, do they look big? Do they look small? What do you guys think? But all in all, they feel pretty comfortable to me. We're gonna go ahead and turn them on and see what these OLED screens look like. And also I'm curious, I'm not currently wearing contacts and I always, I usually wear glasses. I'll put my prescription as well as my stigmatism on the screen. And we'll see if we can get the IPD adjustment as well as the focus knobs to compensate for my prescription. And that would be incredible. Sometimes you just don't feel like putting contacts in. So I like to feel these. These are feeling pretty tight, which is nice. Uh, when you put them in position, for example, they're gonna stay there. And the same with the IPD positions. Uh, you can see that they're, they're not gonna move on you. It'll be interesting to see if I can get them narrow enough for my skinny face. Should we take the plastic off? Let's take the plastic off. Oh yeah. Okay, so what I have here is just a normal four acid battery. Um, and that just connects directly to a regular XT60 to barrel connecting wire. Uh, what's pretty cool is there's no voltage regulator or anything on this wire. It's just a simple basic wire. So it's going to be one less thing to worry about failing. And all of the voltage regulation and what have you is going to happen inside the goggle itself. And this handles all the way up to 6S batteries. So you can basically use any of your flight batteries for these goggles and that's pretty cool. All right, so one other thing that's pretty cool about these goggles is the way the straps attach. They have these little snap buttons, and you just feed it through the loop. And click the button here, doing it one-handed. Boom, look at that. Your strap is attached. That's pretty cool. All right, so moment of truth. Let's go ahead and turn these things on. Here we go, powering up. I can hear all three fans running. And let's go ahead and throw them over my head and see if I can see any of the menus. All right, I mean, already I can actually see pretty well. I'm gonna mess with the uh, diopter adjustments here. I'm doing my right eye. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty good. And do my left eye. <laughs> All right, that's pretty cool. I can literally read all the text on the menus, no problem. And it's almost perfect. And I say almost because actually I have a pretty severe astigmatism and the diopters will never really be able to correct that. However, this is completely usable for me. I have never been able to do this with goggles before. I've always had to wear my glasses and kind of cram them on my face. Uh, now I could actually fly like this. Uh, it might get a little tiresome just because it's not perfect again, because of my astigmatism, but this is perfectly usable for what it is. And that is a huge win. So let's go ahead and talk about the other thing. Uh, the display looks huge um, in comparison to my previous goggles. 
and it's extremely bright. In fact, you could even turn the brightness down a little bit. But I think what we need to do to do a proper comparison is hook up a drone and see what the video looks like through the FPV camera using HD0. Check out this power switch. Awesome. Now I'm comparing these to my Fat Shark HDOs. I now have my HD zeros and my HDOs. Uh, these are both OLED displays, but there's a pretty significant difference between the two. Now granted, these are the V1, so these are a little bit older, but in great goggles, don't get me wrong, but these are instantly a huge improvement. Uh, the screen seems bigger, uh, it seems brighter, it seems more clear. And the fact that I can focus these IPDs and these little focus knobs with my eyes and not have contacts in is amazing. But also when I have contacts in, I'm probably gonna get much clearer image because I'm gonna have that control. And so that's already a huge win. And I guess while we're here, let's go ahead and talk about the differences between these two goggles. Uh, as you can see, the HD Zero goggles are a little bit bigger. Uh, in fact, if we put them edge to edge, you're actually looking at about 17 millimeters or uh, one and a half centimeters, half an inch maybe, uh, of difference in the width, uh, which is you know a little bit bigger. The HDOs definitely weigh less than the HD zeros. In fact, they weigh about 100 grams less, so that's pretty significant. However, if you're actually using these with HD zero, that means you're adding on a VRX to the front, and this also weighs about 100 grams. So actually both of these goggles, when they're using HD zero, weigh about 320 grams. So there's not a huge difference there if you're doing direct comparison for the systems. Some other key differences are the buttons. You have a click button, a little rotary button here with a click button in the center, and on the HDOs, you had a couple toggle switches that could kind of move around. But then if you're using HD0, you would also have this VRX, which had this little toggle switch. And honestly, from a user interface standpoint, this setup is much nicer. I love this rotary dial, navigating menus, it's just so much easier. Another difference is the fan. You can see that the fan on the HD0 unit is quite a bit bigger than the one on the HDO unit. And honestly, it is actually noticeable. I could actually feel the wind on my face and you can control this fan from one to five speeds. Uh, this fan has two settings, but it's not really any different and it doesn't really work that great. But actually what I don't like the most about this fan is that you have to power it from here and you have to remember to click this little button and you have to remember to plug in a balance lead from a separate battery, which means you have to have a battery kind of mounted on the side of your head here just to run the stupid fan. Um, and then also when you're running this as an HD0 configuration, you also have oh, two wires here. So you have these two wires and then you have a separate battery running the fan. It's a lot going on. Uh, with the HD0 unit, you just have the one battery lead that's plugging in here and that's running two fans here and here. And then of course your eye fan, which is going to be here on the top and it's running everything else. So you're just, you're really saving a lot of wires. And it's just a lot neater uh, of a presentation. It just makes it much more usable, honestly. As far as finish is concerned, the HD Zeros have kind of a matte paint job on the plastic here. And the Fat Sharks have more of a gloss paint job. If I'm being completely honest here, I would think that the gloss paint job would actually hold up better to sweat and grease and dirt than the matte finish will. But that's going to be a test of time that we won't really know. Um, also, honestly, I know there's been a lot of criticism about the design of the HD Zeros, and I think you could argue that the Fat Shark look a little bit sleeker, a little bit more, I don't know, sexy possibly. <laughs> um, but if you're in this FPV hobby trying to be sexy, you are in the wrong hobby. So let's, let's focus more about function than form when we're comparing FPV equipment, okay? Now, so let's go ahead and fire the goggles up and see how the images compare. Over here, I have a Chimera 7, seven inch drone that we are not gonna fly inside. And unfortunately, uh, the outside has become a winter wonderland. Huh. Okay, never mind. I guess the test flights with these goggles are gonna be a part two video, so stay tuned for that. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps the channel.
Till next time, guys. Giant Art Cowboy, signing out. A new place, a new home, for a while, let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. A new man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in it. Somewhere I can find myself Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so good